you know, something that was really pretty spectacular yesterday uh, was the clouds. This was like literally right after the storms were ending. Uh, one of my kids was like, it looks like snow or popcorn. <laughs> or, but lots of viewers noticed them. This is what it looked like where, where we were. Um, the scientific term for them, uh, Mamatis, is that how you said Mamatis it? Mamatis, what, Mamatis yeah, clouds. Mamatis. What, Evan, Mama, thank you, Evan, for the uh, the lesson. A cellular pattern of pouches hanging underneath the base of a cloud, creating the unique look. Lots of viewers sending us in uh, their shots or their video. Dave Elliott sent in this video from Anna and Collin County. Uh, it really was something, and I, I I think it was the timing of the the clouds as well. I mean, the lights was the light was hitting it just right, Evan, and. Um, Lots of people out and about because they had been stuck inside because it was raining and just got outside and saw quite the quite the view. Well, typically, I mean, you see, we get Mamata's clouds a fair amount in Texas. I mean, not all the time. Otherwise, everybody would be like, what are these? No, they would know. But you get them very often near severe thunderstorms, usually on the back side or the front side. And it comes out of the anvils because there's so much moisture. I mean, you could feel the humidity levels yesterday. So much moisture gets thrown up into the atmosphere and it sometimes overshoots. And as the anvils form when it hits the top of the atmosphere, the moisture hangs down in those pouches. And that is where we get it from.